Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another What I Eat in a Day video. Thank you so much for taking the time to log on and join me today for another fantastic day of food. So, we're currently in my kitchen, the washing machine is on a cycle, so I'm sorry if you can hear um, sounds. <laughs> but I have had the most lovely start to the morning, it's actually currently a Saturday and we have a really exciting day of food planned and of activities as well, so it's a really lovely day for you guys to join me on. So, it got off to the most dreamy start. I made my weekend pancakes, which are the perfect weekend brunch, especially at this time of year, when you want something slightly more indulgent, perhaps you're entertaining, perhaps you have friends around to stay. They are super easy, they are a one pot wonder, and they are so delicious, light and fluffy. So, I have made these before in a YE, but I have put a slightly festive twist on it, because it added cranberries to the top, which worked so, so well, because they're quite tangy, quite sour. So, along with Biscoff, um, the rich warm flavours of golden syrup and brown sugar it just worked incredibly well so I've also tracked these on the app properly so you guys know exactly the point value I'll put the recipe also in the description box down below so you guys can go and make them for yourself but I'll insert that now but I have some flour here this is self-raising flour I also have one beaten egg um, I have some sugar here, this is caster sugar, some butter, some milk, golden syrup which you're going to need a teaspoon of and I've actually got some cranberries on the boil for a topping because I love cranberries especially at this time of year, I think it's a great way to mix up your menus, get festive and get that kind of inspiration going. These are going to take about 15 minutes until they become soft and then you can use them for toppings. Um, side dishes, dips, whatever. So all of these ingredients in my Maggi Mix, all in one machine, it's super simple, and then um, get a nice batter and then get them frying up. And I'm gonna be using coconut oil. I've just been doing housework and I've been cuddled up with one of my favourite books to read at this time of year. Both for its beauty inspo but also just generally it's one of my favourites and it's the Nigel Slater Christmas Chronicles. I am a little bit late starting this this year but honestly I love it so much so I've been curled up for the rest of the morning with a good book. Um, so that is what I've been up to but it is now lunch time. The day has kind of got away with me a little bit so I'm going to be making um, some kind of sandwich for lunch. I did Korean chicken last night, which is one of my favorite flavors, especially uh, because it's really warming, it's very aromatic, it's super simple to use, and I know when I make it, I'm always gonna have leftovers for the next day, which is fantastic. So I'm having Korean chicken, and I'm gonna make it into like a toasty with this gorgeous bread that I picked up from M&S. I have this sourdough all the time. I really like it. Four points for two slices. You cannot go wrong, so it's really, really lovely. So I'm gonna have that with mayo, Korean chicken, it's just going to be a really lovely warming lunch. And then tonight we're going to be having one of my favourite ultimate loves when it comes to comfort food and it is bangers and mash. They've got some beautiful sausages yesterday from Sainsbury's and I'm going to have them in homemade mash and caramelised with brown sugar, red onion. And I am beyond excited. What better way to kick off the evening of cosiness than to have a big bowl of bangers and mash gravy and onion. It's just one of my favourite things in the whole world. So, yeah, that is the plan. Check out the description box down below for recipes, point values, whatever I'm wearing. This jumper is from H&M. I've had it for ages. I'm wearing it with uh, my monkey t-shirt underneath, which is long sleeve. It's just great because, obviously, the layers are important. It is absolutely freezing. Really lovely day of food. Hope you all enjoy it, and let's get on with the day. Alrighty then. So, I have some gorgeous treats here that are going to make the best sandwich. As I mentioned before, I whipped up a portion of my Korean chicken, which, if you haven't seen, the Cook with Natasha Summer, where I show you how to make this from scratch. You really need to get on it and watch that video because this is one of the tastiest chicken dishes I can do. And it's so simple, so full of flavor, so aromatic, and again, perfect for days like today, where I want something really warm and rich and comforting, and I have this to heat up. 
It smells so good. The ginger, the garlic, the pear. It's just incredible. So I have some of that that I'm going to be preparing. I'm going to have it with some mayonnaise as well. This is the C. Hellman's Light Mayo. Feel free to use whatever you would like. I'm going to put a bit of cheese on top to be extra because last night I sprinkled a bit of cheese on top of this and it tasted wonderful. So I think that's going to be really nice. I have some baby spinach here that I'm going to pop on. As I mentioned before, I have this sourdough bread from M&S that I picked up, which is wonderful. I really love it. And I'm actually going to toast this. Normally, I don't, I'm not going to toast my bread very often, but I think some kind of toasted sandwich would be a nice change for me. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to wait out like I did last time because I remember the measurements. I know um, around about way but if you do want to measure this out in grams because when you scan it it comes up as seven points however when you weigh your serving it comes up as less so i would always recommend you weighing your serving especially when it comes to things like bread Lunch is delicious. It's so, so good, guys. It's honestly one that I really do recommend, so make sure that you try it. I'll pop the recipe in the description box down below. I pointed that as seven points. Four points for my bread, one point for my cheese, and two points for the marinade because it was skinless chicken breast, um, and that's perfectly fine. So now I'm about to make myself a cup of tea, and I think I'm going to kill back up on the sofa with my book. So, so full. And that's 14 points used so far for the day. But I have a feeling I will go into my weeklies, especially if I want my sticky toffee pudding tonight. But it was way day yesterday, so they've all started again. So I actually have my 28 daily and my 28 weekly. So I'm not too worried. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this cup of tea and read my book. <laughs> time guys it's um dinner so we're gonna have bangers and mash as i mentioned tonight i'm gonna be whipping up a caramelized onion gravy which is one of my favorite things again it's ideal for comfort food so to get ahead of the game i've already peeled my potatoes that i'm gonna be making my mash with so in a moment i'm gonna get these cut and get onto the boil um and then i'm gonna get on with browning my sausages what i tend to do is i brown them off first and then i finish them off in the oven it's just a fantastic way to make sure that they caramelize and they get a nice browniness to them but they also cook through relatively quickly um, and thoroughly as well so that's what i'm going to do and then i finish off the onions and make the gravy in the the same oil that the meat has cooked in because again it enriches the stock and it adds a lot of flavor but feel free to do this in any which way you would like these are just my ideas and um, to make my caramelized onion i of course have a lovely brown onion here feel free to use red if you prefer i have some soft brown sugar some gravy granules which i'm going to be using at the end to make the gravy i also have some fennel seeds and some um, parsley some dried parsley and I also have some salt and pepper and the sausages that I'm going to be using today are from Sainsbury's I'll get my app out and track these in a moment okay so when it comes to the sausages I'm just going to use my barcode scanner these are 10 points for two which is perfectly fine and very very reasonable so it makes them five points each and they're quite thick actually so two is more than enough for me um, to be honest so five points for the sausage I actually only have four points left for the day I've eat I've actually used a hefty amount so far which is perfectly fine again it's for the weekend and also I have rollovers that I need to use and weeklies and all that jazz so I'm still going to be having my sticky toffee pudding and ice cream tonight because I'm very excited but I have four points left for mash and gravy which you know my, my mash is probably going to equate to about six points and my gravy about two <laughs>
So we've just had dinner, it was a super quick one, really delicious, really hearty and a great one considering that we're about to head out into the cold and drive to the pantomime. So I'm not going to go into point values right now because I need to leave but as soon as I get back and I do my toffee pudding and everything like that, I will round up the day and tell you guys what point value things are. And I think I'll probably have a sneaky few of the kids sweets as well which I'm not going to bother pointing guys because I'm not being a strict but you know don't take everything that I'm doing is what you should be doing. It's completely up to you if you want to be more strict about things. But for now, I'm going to get the bubble hat on and head out. So guys, it's actually the next day. Um, the panto was a lot longer than we thought. Andrew told me it was an hour because that's what he got told. But actually, it was an hour, then an interval, then another hour. So we didn't get home until 11 o'clock at night. So sadly, my sticky toffee pudding, it was way too late to even contemplate defrosting the ice cream and everything. But I did get a McDonald's double cheeseburger and Layla and I shared it on the way home. So that was seven points. So yeah, a really fantastic day. I think I went over by a couple. Um, I put all of that information in the description box down below. But it was a really lovely day of food. That sausage and mash was so delicious. I added mushy peas and it gave it a really lovely comfort food feel. So yeah, I am actually filming today as well. So you might see this jumper in another way coming. But um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Check out the description box for recipes, all that good stuff, clothing, everything like that. And I'll see you in my next one.